Uh, first responders uh, is uh, a lot of uh, equipment, and you can see some of it around here for uh, fire department and police department. Uh, we we sell everything from bulletproof vests down to a little flashlight. We've got handcuffs. We've got knives, um, gun cases. Um, wallets, just anything that a first responder might like. We can get any type of uniform. We have people that embroider for us. Um, there's almost nothing that we can't get that they're looking for. Um, they'll, you know, they'll come in and say, I saw another department with a certain jacket on or a certain shirt. You know, can you get that for us? And we, we've got uh, hundreds of vendors that we can buy from. And, you know, we we will go the extra mile to find it for them. We will deliver it to them. We do, um, I mean, we'll just do whatever it takes to get their business, you know, and we, our markup is uh, very small compared to some bigger companies. We try to get more of a volume of business as opposed to just one or two at a higher markup. So um, we're very competitive. Um, you know, we try and get the word out there. I know we've had a lot of repeat business and, and new people coming in from uh, customers that have already been with us. So we're real happy about that. I mean, on the Moto Turbo products, we uh, it's a constant changing, and because the environment with the digital products is always evolving, um, the capabilities of them have changed, and also the product line, which they've recently introduced, a newer, lighter, smaller uh, type of radio that um, you know we need to do training on it and introduce that to the customer. Um, but also on the other side, you know that that is the, more of a consumer, customer-oriented. Um, product, the Moto Turbo, but we deal with a lot of public safety. And uh, the newer Apex radios uh, have actually done three different series of uh, training on that. I've recently finished last week five-day training for temple building for Apex radios. Uh, so and that was actually in-house here, most of the training, but recently I went to Chicago and spent a week there for R56 training, which is mandatory, mandatory by Motorola uh, this past year by December 1st or December 31st. Um, was mandatory in order to stay in Motorola shop that we had to have at least one person or percentage of your technicians R56 certified. So, um, but over the years, yeah, there's um, CET training, which I'm CET senior training since I've had the R56 now. Uh, we got to the next level, senior level, uh, with that training. That that was also a couple years ago. Motorola required that in order to be able to stay in Motorola shop. And Motorola has definitely stepped up and kept the training up for us to, you know, to stay a shop and uh, to stay qualified in the products.